everyone, and welcome back to Tokyo Tuesdays, the segment in which I head to the Tokyo Disney theme parks to sample and review every last eatery. For our 63rd episode, we're taking a trek to the Arabian coast, this time visiting Open Sesame. Located in Tokyo Disney Sea, getting to Open Sesame is a bit of a hike. Start off in the Mediterranean Harbor. Once in the main open foyer, veer to your right. Follow along, keeping the water on your left, passing by Mama Biscotti's Bakery and Cafe Portofino on your right. As an option, if you don't want to walk up the steps of the Villa de la Viti or use the wheelchair accessible cutbacks next to it, you can take a right, right before you pass the Zambini Brothers Ristorante. There is a side passageway that will take you up and around. Be careful though, sometimes this is a hot spot for character photos, so it can be even more crowded than the steps. At the top, follow the path to the left and continue on around, keeping the water on your left. Mount Prometheus will eventually pop up on your right, as well as the entrance to its caldera. Go ahead and turn right, making your way inside. Inside the caldera, follow the path around to the right, keeping the water, once again, on your left. On the opposite side from where you entered, you'll find the exit. Take this, following the path along by turning right and then left. Outside the volcano, you should now be able to see the Mermaid Lagoon off to your left and the Arabian Coast off to your right. Veer to your right, following the path and, yes, continuing to keep the water on your left. You will pass by bridges that could take you to the Mermaid Lagoon. Feel free to ignore them. You'll pass by the Arabian Coast's main entrance on your right, followed by the Sultan's Oasis. Keep following the path around, and there, directly in front of you, you'll find Open Sesame. Open Sesame is a cart location serving churros and bottled soft drinks. It has a delightful roof made up of crooked wooden sticks, and its rafters, windows, and side paneling all feature intricately carved geometric patterns. Oh, and it also has tiny metal wheels stuck to the side. Because wheels, am I right? I've set up for this one very quickly because I want to eat this churro before it cools down. I have, however, managed to spill all churro sugar all over my lap. Fantastic. So, we are at Open Sesame today, which does the Mickey churros. You can see it's shaped like Mickey there. Uh, this is your simple, basic cinnamon churro. There's nothing extra, nothing special about it. So, with that very quick uh, explanation, let's try it. It's a little bit burnt. For a churro, it is perfectly acceptable. I personally think it tastes a little tiny bit burnt, but only barely just. Uh, it is fresh and warm, which makes everything better. Mm. There's not a lot that you can say about churros because they're really pretty basic. Sort of like the popcorn in that regards. You know, you've had one churro, you've had them all. It's a nice background to eat churros with. All right, I'm gonna finish up my churro and what I don't eat, I'm gonna give to this bird, which is waiting very patiently. Probably not, I don't think sugar is good for birds. Uh, and then I will be on to the next place. I will see you uh, wherever that may be. Bye. We've made it back. Time to review. Service is a three out of five. This location tends to have a bit of a line at it at any given time, but that line always seems to move at a pretty decent clip. You announce what you want, pay, and your food is handed to you. Bam, bam, bam. Nothing stands out here in either a positive or a negative way. Three out of five. Atmosphere is a three out of five. I was actually all set to give this location a 4 out of 5. Uh, I really like the found crooked stick style roof, even if it does sort of technically go against the fact that the rest of the cart is made out of wood. I really like the intricately carved wooden geometric shapes that they're using for their paneling. 
And then I noticed the tiny metal wheels. Why? What possible purpose do these wheels have? None! They're very clearly decorative, yet they don't match the style of the cart at all. So why? This isn't a location that needs wheels. So if you're going to insist on putting wheels on, then why not at least wheels that match the style? They're tiny and metal and stupid, and I don't like them. However, the rest of the cart is really nice, so uh, it does still get a 3 out of 5. Price is a 2 out of 5. This is your pretty standard cinnamon sugar churro. Uh, it is Mickey Mouse shaped, which is fun, but other than that, there's nothing really special about it. Uh, so, 310 for one churro seems like a bit much to me. I continue to expect, like, 3 for that price. So, 2 out of 5. The food is also a 2 out of 5. This is your standard cinnamon sugar flavored churro, and that flavor doesn't really do much to excite me. I would rate it a 3, you know, because it's fine, there's nothing technically wrong with it. However, in this case, there was technically something wrong with it in that it tasted burnt. And burnt is not really a flavor that I'm looking for in a churro. 2 out of 5. Overall, this gives Open Sesame an average rating of 2.5 out of 5, which seems maybe a little bit high for a location like this, but I can't technically round it down, so we'll leave it there. With a 2.5 out of 5, this ties Open Sesame with nine other eateries. Wow. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and slot it in just below Nautilus Galley, but above Refreshment Corner, earning it 52nd place on the master list. Meanwhile, on the cart service lineup, it's going to tie up against six other eateries this time and come in at 12th place. So, that's it for this week. Come back next week if you want to find out where I'll be then. Hint, this is a location that I'd love to show you. If you have any comments or suggestions, please feel free to leave those. We'd love to hear from you. Give this video a big ol' thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you like what we do, we'd surely appreciate it. If social media is more your flavor, you can find links to that in the description box. And I will see you next week for another Tokyo Tuesday.